I saw something many years ago that really helped me in Genesis 30 verse 25. Uh, I, I started this series by saying winning is a mindset. It's a mindset. You know, before the technicalities, you must agree that you are a winner. That you are not um, a victim of the season. You are not... Um, uh, you are not just someone there that can be shoved aside. You are a winner. Can, can we have that on the screen? Genesis 30 verse 25. Uh, it was Jacob. Jacob just collected the blessing from his dad. Um, that is Isaac. And then he had to, he fled because of his brother he saw. So when he left his father's place, he went with, a, with just a stick just a, like a rod and of course maybe a knapsack but on the way there was some kind of sandstorm he lost almost everything he landed in Laban's house with a rod but that is what you can see the things you can see are temporal but the things you cannot see are eternal he was carrying a generational well, transgenerational blessings on his life he was a winner and when, when he landed in Laban's house Laban was given to sorcery Laban was given to witchcraft and guess what <laughs> The, the sorcerer or the priest that was helping him told Laban that this guy that has come will fertilize your business. So he, that, that was the main people don't that was the main reason he kept Jacob. He was the fertilizer. So everything began to blossom because this guy was a carrier. Say, I'm a carrier of God's blessings, of God's power. You are a carrier. We turn wilderness into a fruitful field. We turn emptiness to overflow. We build cities. You are a carrier. Whatever sphere of influence you are, you, you, you are not just there, you know, just one of the people there. No, you are the game changer. Glory to God. So after some years, Jacob was tired. He now said, okay, I, I want to leave. And then Laban confessed finally. Look at this. And, and Rachel gave back to Joseph. Jacob said to Laban, send me on my way so I can go back to my own homeland verse 26 it was after like 20 years 20 years give me my wives and children for whom i have served you and i'll be on my way you know how much work i have done for you 27 but labor said to him that's the employer telling the employee the orga the boss Telling the Omoishe, you know that kind of stuff. He said, if I found favor in your eyes, please what? I have learned by what? Ah. That the Lord has blessed me because of you. You have to confess. That. You, you can't go. You are the reason why we are building all these houses. You are the reason why the, the sheep and the goats are multiplying. There's something about you. But the question is, did Jacob really know? If you had known, maybe you should have left earlier in that sense. Now, verse 28. 28 says, He added, Name your wages. And so you now ask yourself, Who is now the boss? Who is in control? The man that carries the blessings. And that's who you are as a covenant person. You know, you, you, you carry something. And I looked at Joseph's life too. That was the same thing. The moment Joseph entered Potiphar's house, the business, the household began to flourish. So there is something about covenant people that makes the difference. It's a winning mindset. It's not, uh, you know, hyping you psychologically. We are saying the way mosquito, anopheles mosquito carry malaria parasite, you carry blessing parasitic. There's a word like that. Anywhere you land, uh, the place turn around. Hola. I trust you had a great time watching that video. So why not hit the subscribe button and enjoy more videos like this?